Have you ever been angry? <laughs> Maybe not, but you would constitute the exception if you've never been angry. Well, when we hear the word anger, angry, we immediately give it the connotation of something that is evil. But anger is not always evil. Anger can be bad or it can be good. Now, what do we mean by the word anger, angry? In Greek, there are two words, and sometimes they're translated by the same English word. There is the word orgy, O-R-G-E, orgy. And orgy actually is the swelling up. There is an English word that... Uh, we use, and that is orgasm, that is related to this, or ye, is the swelling up of a passion, of a desire, of an emotion, or ye. Now, this is commonly translated into English as wrath. For instance, uh, we have in the very, very practical book of James, in the first chapter, and verses 19 and 20, these words, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man, every man, be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. Now, that word wrath, is or ye. It is the ability to come to a climax, a climax of emotions, the passion, the climax of passion, or ye. Now there is a second word, and that is themos, T H. U, U, M, O, S. Now, this is what anger is. Themos. Themos is the outburst of orgy, of wrath. You're full of feelings, and all of a sudden you burst out into anger. So, when we say, what is anger? It is both, or ye, the swelling up of the emotions, and also themos, which is the outburst of that emotion. Now, we must bear in mind that animal can be angry, and humans can be angry. But when animals are angry, you will find that it is almost always because of selfish reasons. You try to hurt an animal. They say about a bear, for instance. If you try to in any way attack a bear, you will not be there to attack it again. <laughs> but if you leave it alone, it may not touch you. So an animal becomes angry, has the expression of wrath, because it is attacked. Self is injured. With humans, this can also be possible. You become angry because you are personally attacked. And this is the chief reason why people, men and women, get angry. It is when they are attacked in themselves and it is 
actually the instinct of self-preservation. That is what it is with the animals and that it is what it is with humans. I want to preserve myself. I want to shield myself from any attack against me and therefore I become angry. I become wrathful. I begin to attack the others in self-defense. But I have a booklet entitled, Is Anger Ever Justified? And this is the booklet that I want to offer you. And our announcer will tell you how you may write and get this booklet. And this is part of a three volume series that I have on the book of James. Actually, I wrote these three volumes almost 30 years ago. And there was so much in the book of James that I wrote three volumes. And the first volume is entitled The Work of Faith. It covers chapter 1 and chapter 2 up to verse 13. The second volume is The Labor of Love. It begins with chapter 2, verse 14, and ends with verse 12 of chapter 4. And then the third chapter the third book, The Patience of Hope, taking you from the 13th verse of the 4th chapter to the 20th verse of the 5th chapter. There is 900 pages of exposition on the book of James. And James is very practical. And this is why he handles wrath. He says, For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. We're going to examine this and see actually what it means. And of course, you can find what it means by asking for the booklet and studying it. But in this, my first study on the general theme of anger, I want you to realize that there is also justified anger. And this justified anger is resident in God and also in humans. Humans who have God in them, who have God's nature, who have been born again and are children of God. And I can get mad, I can be angry, not only when I am hurt in myself, but when a principle is attacked, when God is attacked, when others who should not be touched or attacked are, then I get angry. This is justified anger. This is justified wrath. And only really humans can have that. It all depends on the motive of anger. If I'm angry only because of selfish reasons, then I am uh, nothing but really a beast, an animal. But if I am angry, if I get mad because God is attacked, because my wife, my family, others who are innocent people are attacked, then that anger, is fully justified. And in fact, if I don't get mad at others when principles and other people are concerned, then there is something wrong with my morality. So, there is anger whose motive is only self, and there is anger the motive of which can be a principle others being attacked, and I must stand up for that which is right. 